So today we're going to talk about leading and leading is not really something you can learn through a video, but the basics we want to show you today. Uh, leading takes practice and it takes a really good understanding of your horse and horse behavior. So it's sort of building on the horse behavior and communication that we have talked about so far. So we have Molly here. And we have Victor, who we're gonna use for our demonstrations today. And we wanna talk about how we safely go into the stall first, because before you bring the horse into the arena, you have to get the horse out of their stall. So as you can see here, we have our, our halter and our lead rope. They're separated. This is how we always keep our, our stalls. We wanna keep them neat and easy to access quickly if ever needed. So we are going to take the halter off the hook and we're going to take the lead rope off the hook. We want to have that when you go in to get the horse. So when you approach the stall door, you're going to unlock it and just open it enough that um, you can fit through, not your horse. And before you go in, you want to make sure that your horse sees that you are coming in. You can see that Victor is looking at Molly. He's like, oh, I'm going to have to go to work. And um, he's, you know, he knows she's coming in. So you're going to shut the door, not lock it, <laughs> but you're going to shut it so that the horse cannot exit the stall. And you're going to greet your horse before you do anything. You don't want to just go in there and put the halter over his head. You want to take that time to say hello, because believe it or not, that is important to your entire day of working with that horse. You want to show them that you are partners and that you're going to be working together. So you can see Molly, <laughs> Molly's going to go over to his left side, which as we've previously shown, that is where we always put the halter on. And she's going to flip it over his head Notice how she does not do it facing him. She stands at his side, which is where we'll be showing you you're gonna be standing for the whole leading process. And then she clips the lead rope to the ring that is under his halter, and they are ready to walk out. And let's see, we will step back a little bit, and I'm gonna show you how she comes out of the stall. I want you all to keep in mind that every horse is different, and their size makes a difference. So Victor is a big guy. And he also has some lameness issues. He has navicular in his, in his front end, which is what we'll talk about that in a later video. But he needs really wide, careful turns. He can't just whip around or you could injure him. He could actually trip and fall as well. So he kind of needs careful turns and wide turns to make sure he gets out of the stall safely. So we are gonna pause for a second. All right, so now we're going to bring Victor out of his stall, and Molly's kind of demonstrating that he needs that time to get out. She's going to ask a little bit, wait for him to follow, ask a little bit. He turns very slowly, and he needs that extra time. Ask a little bit. Okay, and when he's ready to come out of his stall, you can see she's going to give him some space. And he comes straight out. You want to make sure you don't cut that stall wall too sharply. You see how she almost walks all the way to the other side of the barn. And we're going to follow Victor into the arena. And once again, when you're going into any space, you know, she's going to make a right into the arena. She's going to make a wide turn. And that's for any horse, not just Victor. All right, and we're gonna pause the video and get him set up for a leading demonstration. Okay, so we're in the arena and we're ready to do a little leading demonstration with Victor here. But it's really important to point out where to stand when you're leading and how to hold the lead rope. So Molly is holding the lead rope correctly. You wanna have two hands on the lead rope always when you're leading. Um, and it's also very important to not let the extra lead rope drag because you can 
step on it or the horse can step on it. And you also don't want to be too hiked up on the lead rope that you're restricting your horse's head movement. You want to stay relaxed. Your horses will be relaxed if you're relaxed. They are looking to you as a leader. So Victor has a pretty short lead rope where he doesn't have a lot of extra, but Molly's also showing that it is folded. The extra, you want to be folded back and forth when you're holding the extra. Not in any way ever wrapped around any part of your body. Wrist, we see over the shoulder a lot, which is a huge no-no. Never. And we won't even have Molly demonstrate this, but we have also seen around the neck, which is not safe. If the horse were to go anywhere quickly, or even if you as the leader trip, that rope can be wrapped around that part of your body and seriously injure you. So we are always want, wanting to be aware of that. We're always gonna leave, lead from the left side. That's what our horses are used to. And as we sort of touched on um, last time, everything in the horse world is done on the left side. So she's gonna stand sort of right at his jaw. It's important not to fall behind and let the horse drag you. And it's also important not to get too far ahead of the horse and drag him. You're working as partners. And you always wanna be looking straight ahead where you're going. And you wanna turn your shoulders in the direction that you're going. So sort of like riding, if she, we're gonna be kinda of going around half of the arena here. If she wants to turn Victor left, she looks left and gently pulls left. You hardly need any pulling at all. If she wants to go right, she looks right and gently pushes the lead rope a little bit right. And he, our horses are all very good about these cues and will follow them. So I'm gonna have, you're gonna go ahead and tell him to walk on. And just like when we're riding, we give forward movement, tell him to walk on. And you'll see Victor sometimes takes some time to warm up. He gets very stiff standing in his stall. But we don't want to let him drag around the arena. We want to encourage energy, forward movement. That forward movement not only benefits them, but it benefits whoever is riding them. We're gonna give him just a minute to warm up so before asking him to move forward. But no, either way, you can see Molly is walking nice and relaxed on his left side, right by his jaw. The lead rope under his chin there is loose. When she wants him to move forward, she just tugs on the lead rope a little bit and then she releases. You don't wanna be dragging your horse. If you're having to drag him around the arena, you are not leading correctly. And Victor is a, will give everyone away if they're dragging. <laughs> he needs that energy. Forward energy with your body. You always wanna be looking ahead. And your horse is looking to you to be their leader. If you're looking at the horse, which is a common mistake that we see when someone is learning, you're looking to your horse for answers, but your horse is looking to you for answers. So it's important to be confident and walk forward confidently. So a lot of times when we bring our horses in to get them ready to ride, we walk them first to warm them up. And this is an important part of the lesson because we want their muscles to be warmed up just like we warm up before we ride. And you can see she's starting to ask him to move forward a little bit. For Victor, though, this is a pretty good walk already. He really respects Molly as his leader. She works with him a lot. And you can see her cues, though, when he falls behind. She asks him to come forward, and then she relaxes her arm. She's looking ahead in the direction that she's going and walking with energy. And let's go ahead and ask him to reverse directions, Molly. So she's looking where she's going. And Victor needs wide turns, as we mentioned earlier. 
much wider turn than you might give any of our other horses. And you just kind of follow his lead with the, with the turns. He'll tell you, he'll let you know where his point is that he needs to turn. It's important to lead them in both directions whenever you're warming them up so that their muscles are getting warmed up evenly. Now that he's changed directions, he started off a little stiff, but she's asking him to give more energy. There. Good job. And verbal praise is good. What we do ask everyone when they're leading the horse to refrain from is cuddles and pats. They're working, but they do love that verbal praise. And before we finish this very brief leader training, we're gonna just incorporate a little bit of steering. Let's do a left-hand circle around this small orange cone up here, Molly. Once again, a wide turn. You can see her lead rope has not changed. She hasn't moved any closer to his head. And then a right turn around cone number one to make a figure eight. And as you watch this video or even maybe re-watch it, keep in mind those horse communication, the horse behavior that we've talked about already and how Victor is responding to Molly. And then when you turn that cone, Molly, how about you bring him towards us? And when you ask a horse to halt, similar to riding, you can halt when you get up here. You're going to pull back on the lead rope towards his chest and release as soon as he stops. Good boy, Victor. So if you are leading a horse while someone is riding that horse, we head up the horse when we are stopped for any period of time. And that means that Molly is going to stand facing Victor, but slightly to the side to create a visual barrier with her body, that the horse is to stand there and not move. And our horses recognize this when you're standing like that, that they are gonna be stopped for at least a few minutes. And this is typically when we're checking tack or getting directions from the instructor. So that is leading in a nutshell. And there is much more to this and we will definitely do hands-on leading as soon as we can.